Right, so in this tutorial here, I'm just going to continue with um, the kind of jawline, uh, the bottom of the chin, and the area that leads up to the top of the neck. Um, what I've noticed from analysing this model is I've kind of made a little mistake. So I'm just going to show you how you can rectify that. Uh, essentially, what we want is we want <clears throat> this kind of these set of polys just here to flow and bend at this stage and kind of go towards the bottom of the chin but at the minute these just keep going straight down like that so what we're going to do to fix that is I don't worry about deleting again like I keep telling you it's not going to take long to select uh, uh, to create new polys I'm just going to kind of go ahead and delete this kind of whole set of polys just the bottom row <coughs> press delete and then I'm also just going to delete the next set as well, like so. I know it seems like I'm going backwards, but this is going to really kind of benefit you and be create a better kind of edge flow and a better flow, better flow lines in the model. So what we need to do is kind of change the angle of these of these edges just here so that they're closer together. So this one here, you know it would naturally kind of follow on from this edge that's going across that leads on from the corner of the mouth like like so this one I can kind of pull down a bit as well like that and I'm just going to kind of change the angle of this so it's kind of like that now I'm going to target weld so go down to my target weld and then click on those two vertices and then we have that new connect uh, that new kind of angle on that edge <coughs> it's going to pull it out in my front view as well because I want to make sure that I you know don't make it too narrow give it a good volume on that part of her face um, and you can kind of see how that's working now and you see how this one's kind of flowing down here there's a few adjustments that I do need to make though I need to kind of pull these edges down a little bit that one this one as well slightly this one it's just so I kind of spread out these uh, polys a little bit and that's really important when you're doing your modeling because you don't want kind of loads of edges grouped together and then like a huge massive area which doesn't have any kind of poly so you know it does help in fact I think I've made a face a bit too thick there I'm just going to pull that in just like that pull this one in a little bit too that's okay for now we can do a bit of tweaking later okay so the next step um, like I've just mentioned uh, is to kind of go down towards the neck area so it's going to be a lot simpler for us now and I'll kind of explain why because <laughs> in fact I'm going to have to change the angle of this edge because what's going to happen is um, we're just going to kind of feed these down these edges you know, these polys are just going to carry on going down here carry on going carry on going so technically I want this to kind of be this angle like this don't worry about this big gap again I'm just going to kind of space these out a little bit and I'll tweak them later like so okay let's just leave it at that for now then I'm just gonna go to my edge tool I'm going to control and select all these edges here. I'm going to shift and drag down. Just make them kind of go and follow this angle just here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to target weld um, this kind of front point here to this, this one here, because that's where it would have to go. So I'm going to go to my target weld and just weld that, like so. And then I'm going to go into my front view and make sure I'm lining this up as well so pull that right the way in pull this in as well
and again just use the perspective view just to check just to make sure you know certain areas of her face aren't too narrow like that area just there so I'm just going to pull that out slightly like so and maybe that a little bit as well as that point there okay so you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to do here um, make these kind of flow below the neck uh, not below the neck kind of below the chin area and they're just going to kind of continue going all the way around so if I just go in my front view essentially what I want to do is kind of shift and drag up till every um, edge that it lines up with so it should you know the only reason that I do this is so it has somewhere to connect to so I can target weld the vertice on this corner here onto this edge just there so I'm just going to kind of line it up in in my um, front view for now so I'm going to shift and drag again so it lines up with this edge and I'm going to shift and drag again so it lines up with this edge just there of course it's not lined up in my side view just yet but that's not a big problem uh, I'm just going to go in my perspective view so I can rotate below and I'm going to um, target weld that that and that yes we have a bit of a gap appearing just here so all you need to do is select those uh, vertices and pull them together slightly until they overlap and that's kind of your very kind of basic first um, kind of neck area done just tweak it a little so it's a little smoother and let's just quickly give it a smoothing group as well so it kind of smooths off a little just going to select that whole kind of area there make sure it's in smoothing group 1 because that's the group of the face and we can see how that's working it's looking quite good um, you may think you know there's a bit of a sharp edge here just on the bottom of the chin and I'm not quite lining it up with that area there so for now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread these out a little bit just like that and again I can you know quite easily add polys later on that's not going to be a problem okay just kind of doing a bit of tweaking now uh, but yeah that's pretty much it uh, for this video you know we've got up to the neck we've kind of got the whole the face done I guess and now it's just kind of moving on uh, to go towards the back at uh, the top of the head, the side of the of the head, <coughs> including the ear as well. So in my next video, I'll try and squeeze in uh, the ear as well. Um, and you know, if I just give you a quick um, demo of what it looks like so far, you know, I just applied the texture on here, and um, you know, and I applied the text texture for the eyes. So this is just a picture I found of her looking forward, um, and I applied it on there. And you know, it's looking really good. Um, I'm really pleased with that so we know that we're going on the right tracks because it kinda looks like her okay so anyway I will see you in my next video where we will cover uh, the ears